Sadi Burati from Coach Me Tab Tennis. Today I'm going to be talking about the backhand drive and the backhand topspin. Okay, so when you're talking about the backhand drive, you want to stand square to the line of play. So if I'm going cross court, my nose points exactly where I'm going, and my legs are stable. And when I mean stable, I mean they're a little bit bent, which puts my weight forward onto the balls of my feet, and that allows me to shift either left or right. And then my free arm is placed just in and around this zone, which then means I can't cut across. Some people will cheat, they have their arm here or up here, and they can cheat themselves, which doesn't generate a good quality drive from here. So if I have a here, I have to physically move my legs to get behind the ball. The other key aspect here is my elbow is slightly outwards. If it's in here, naturally my bat will be facing up. I can kind of drive through it, I can't topspin from this position, I can block, but I'm limited. Where with my elbow here, I can block, and at any time, I can spin as I wish. So those are the real key elements for the backhand drive. Now, another thing for you guys to notice is the distance from the hitting zone, from my back. So I'm here, I start in and around this zone, which is about 10 centimeters or so from my stomach, or around chest height, and then I hit again, hit through the ball. So I'm here, I hit through the ball, I don't hit the ball and stop. I hit through the ball, there. So that's my motion. Lastly, as the ball comes to me, I stay low and I don't lift up with the shot. You can go up and down, but you, as the ball comes to you, you want to sink and you can lift to generate that energy. But you don't go hit and lift. So the backhand topspin, very similar to the backhand drive, the only real key difference here is the wrist movement and the contact on the ball. I don't hit through the ball, I go around the ball and I snap my wrist in a very small whipping motion there, snap, there, just before point of contact and at point of contact. So here I whip around there. That allows me to generate lots of topspin and kick and also power. So on the backhand drive and uh, backhand topspin, my timing point is depending according to what I'm trying to do. So if I'm trying to uh, punch the ball or drive through the ball or block, then my timing point, let's say you have a scale over here of one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is before, uh, as it bounces and as it's rising, top of the bounce we call it here at number three. I want to catch it in and around 230 and 330. So in and around this zone, meaning in and around the top, top of the bounce. With the backhand top spin, I can choose. I can take it slightly earlier, meaning around two o'clock, giving my opponent less time, but making higher risk for myself. Top of the bounce, slightly lower risk for myself, but a little bit more time for them. Or after top of the bounce, which allows me to generate a lot more spin and put energy, real heavy energy on the ball but it gives them a lot more time and also angles which they can use against me. And that can be used on both the backhand and forehand similar uh, timing points with the drives and the top spins. As always, I hope my tips have helped you with your game regarding today it was the uh, backhand drive and the backhand top spin. Um, feel free to share all my content. I would really appreciate if you guys send it on, uh, share it on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all those kind of uh, mediums, social mediums, and please continue to uh, follow me, like the page, and uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks again.